Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, well, it, 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 the beautiful thing is, when, when I sit here to bring God's word to you, you see, the anointing of God rests upon me. I begin to even say things I never planned to say, praise God. Now, that's how you know the anointing of God's spirit is working. And he knows you are going to be watching this broadcast, you know, whatever time you're watching this broadcast. And he planned for you. So all I do, I yield myself to him for him to give me utterance. Now I prepare my notes, I prepare the things I need to talk about, but, but I still wait for him to give me utterance for each word that I speak because I know one thing, he is thinking of you. Praise God. Now, we were talking about how to start the year and then we are talking about God is your source, recognizing God as your source. I know yesterday I was ministering to someone talking about children and, and how to believe God for their sustenance. Now, listen. Understanding that God is your source is not just a mental thing you do. There is a physical action. There is a physical aspect. There is a demonstration of your works where that is concerned. Remember, the Bible says, faith without works is dead. Now, I know lots of people have misunderstood or, or, or taught wrongly concerning works and faith. You know, say, oh, um, I don't have a job. So, what are you doing in the house? The Bible says, faith without works is dead. If you're believing God for a job, go around and looking for where they are employing people just in case you must you must that that that's not the meaning of faith without works is dead that's 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 faith and foolishness yeah so what what's the works of faith the works of faith are the instructions the lord has given to you where that faith is concerned did you get that what do i mean now you're believing god for something and then while you're believing God for it, instructions must come from the Lord. See, if those instructions don't come, then how do you know that God is even aware you're believing for what you're believing Him for? You see, to walk with the Lord is a fellowship, is a, is a relationship. Now, there is no one-way relationship. That relationship will end soonest. When we talk about relationship, it's a two-way thing, you see. So, so you, you are talking to someone, the person is talking back to you. You are doing something and then there's a response you're getting from the person. You know, how, how would you like it? You pick up your phone and say, hello, yes, Mr. John. You know, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. You know what? Today, uh, this is what I want you to do. This is what I want you to do. This is what I want you to do. Now, when you're done with that, I would like you to do this and do this and do this. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. And then you hang up. Did you even know if Mr. John was on the other side of the phone? <laughs> Praise God. So you say, hey, Mr. John, how are you? He said, oh, I'm very fine. Oh, ah, a long time I've not heard your voice. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm okay. You know, I was even thinking about you. Okay, fine. This is what I want us to do. All right. All right. Now, all that all right, all right means what? There is a conversation going on. So when you pray to God, how do you know he has heard you? When you are believing God for something, how do you know that God has knows or is, is even aware that you're believing him for that? See, how, how are you supposed to know? Very simple. You know by the instructions he begins to give to you. You see, for example, Abraham went before the Lord one time. And then the Lord was talking to him and he says, okay, Lord, hold on. You know, God had already told him, I'll give you the land. Your, your children shall inherit the land. And then he, he went before the Lord one day and he says, Lord, I want to ask you a question. How will I know that I will inherit this land? Now, God didn't say, Abraham, upon everything me, God, have told you. You're still asking this kind of silly question. No, 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 no. When he asked the Lord, the Lord explained to him. The Lord said, hmm. Okay, you know what? Get me a sacrifice. Do this and do this. And then he did and God spoke and, and, and received that sacrifice. See? And then God began to speak to him concerning the land. So don't be afraid to ask God concerning the things that he has promised you. If your faith seems to be failing, don't do, and let me let it not be like my faith is failing. It's failing. You need help. See? You don't, you don't do this Superman thing before the Lord. When you need help, you need help. So what do you do? Go to him for help. Say, Father, I need your help right now because you know this promise you promised me. I am looking at the time and, and, and it seems my faith is failing. I need your help. What's he going to do to you? He is going to remind you of his word. He's going to strengthen you. Even Jesus needed help. 
at the garden of Gethsemane. Where he said, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my what do you think he was asking for? Lord, I need help to go through. This is Jesus now. He needed help. And what did the Bible say? Angels were sent to strengthen him. See? So when you need help from the Lord, that's exactly how angels will be released to come strengthen you. How do angels strengthen you? They don't come to start pumping things to you. They come with words. They come with remembrance. See, they, they begin to remind. Angels speak. You know, sometimes people don't know this. You know, we, we hear the voice, you know. So, but you, you see, as you grow in maturity, you begin to know when it is the Lord that is speaking to you. Or you begin to know if it's an angel that is speaking to you. There's a great difference. But some people don't know. An angel will speak to them and they'll say, it's the Lord. So, so when, when there's a problem tomorrow, they, they wouldn't know how to handle it. See, you need to know this truth. So how do I know the difference? Grow. Praise <laughs> God. Grow in the Lord. That's, there is no formula for it. It's relationship. You know, the more you grow in him, the more you grow in hearing his voice, understanding his, his ways. See, remember what God said, the one who glory should glory in this, that he knows and he understands me. And that should be your goal. Praise God. I've got to stop here. No, I've, I've not even entered what the Lord have laid in my heart to share with you this week. Praise God. I believe tomorrow we're going to do that. God bless you. Receive your inheritance today in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.